Alrighty, so today we will be reviewing the Wii O Terminal, and I did make a quick short earlier a few weeks ago about this device and the unboxing experience, but today we'll be going through the full review, the specifications of this device, and some quick little things you can do with this device. And well, before we get started, I do want to mention the awesome guys over at Seed Studio did send this review unit to me, but everything is my own thoughts. Uh, basically, this video is my own. They have they don't really have any, anything to do with it other than sending me the product, but huge thanks to them for doing so, and I am really excited to see what we can do with this thing. So. Let's get started. Alrighty, so first of all, let's take a look at the specs of this device. So what comes first? So we actually have this LCD right here. It is a colorful display. You can display colors on this screen. And then actually we have Bluetooth, we have Wi-Fi, we have a microphone, we have a speaker. Where is the speaker? I'm not exactly sure, but there are, there are speakers. We have a micro SD card slot right here. Awesome to see on here. We actually also have a light sensor, a five-way switch, an infrared em emitter, which is an IR940NM, and we actually have crypto authentication ready. Interesting. I'm not really sure what that is, but if you do, let me know in the comments below. So, what is this device actually powered by? Like, what's the processor in this thing? Well, it's called a ARM Cortex M4F. There is one core running at 120 megahertz, and it can boost up to 200 megahertz. And then we actually are located with 400 megabytes of external flash storage, and then 192 kilobytes of RAM. So, in 2021, this obviously isn't a PC uh, from those specs, but it's not supposed to be. The Wii terminal comes in around $35. It's really affordable, and it's awesome to see what you can do with this small thing because it's a small project device. And we actually do have USB-C. It's awesome to see that. It's because a lot of devices, cheap devices, um, throw in that micro USB, but seeing USB-C is much nicer, much better. And we actually do have an included USB-C cable with this thing. Awesome to see as well. And what software, what kind of coding languages does this support? Well, it supports Arduino, MicroPython, ArduPy, and ET firmware. It also supports the kind of new released Tiny ML Tinkergen. Um, block coding so if, if you're more on the simple side you can actually use block coding with this thing it will upload it straight to the internal storage and you can play around with that which i've been doing lately it's a fun thing to do and it's cool to see this thing being available to simpler coders like me okay so what happens the first time when we turn this thing on so we actually are going to plug in this USB-C cable for power right here into the USB-C port right here. Plug that on and right here. So this is what it's going to look like if you buy it as far as I know. So what does it say right here? It says push left button to continue. So what if we so if we push that left button which is the button right here. I click that. And as you can tell, this is going to be a very dinosaur game like the game in Google. It's interesting. But hey, it's a fun little thing that they included pre-installed. You can go ahead and play around with it. And it's it's interesting. I mean, yeah. So this button right here jumps actually. And this one shoots a little thing like that to those guys. It's, it's honestly fun. You could carry this around, power it on, and play this game if you are really that bored. <laughs> but yeah, so I guess we'll head over to the desktop now and take a look at some of the coding abilities of this Wii terminal. All right, so I thought it'd be kind of interesting if I show you guys how you can set up your Wii terminal using the Arduino software right here if you don't know how to do it. Well, so first of all, you can download this for basically any operating system. I will leave a link to Arduino's website in the description below. You can download this software, but I am currently on Windows, but it really doesn't matter. So first of all, we are gonna wanna connect our Wii terminal to this Arduino software. And well, if you don't know how to do so, you're gonna have to go right here to on the Arduino thing right here. You're gonna go to File. You're gonna go down to Preferences. 
and then go down to additional boards manager URLs and you're going to want to copy this link right here. This link I will leave in the description below or I will leave a link to the Seed Studio website. You can copy it from there. This is just going to tell this software more about the wheel terminal and how to set it up with it. So now that we have added that in there, we are one, we are going to want to go over to tools and then we are going to want to go down to board board and then go to board manager. When you're once you're in board manager, you're going to want to type wheel terminal. So search wheel terminal and it should come up right here and you're going to click install. Just leave it at the latest version and it's going to download all the needed tools so that it can connect with our wheel terminal. They made it really sim simple to do so. It seems to work well in my experience. So yeah. All right, so the installation is complete. So now, if how do we how can we connect to our wheel terminal? Well, you go over to tools, you go over to board, and you see right here Seed Sam D 32-bit ARM Cortex, and you're gonna select the wheel terminal. Bam! That's all you have to do. Now connect your wheel terminal to with a USB port to your computer, and go ahead start coding on Arduino. Well, if you do want to test it, there is one quick thing that we can do. So we could go over here to file, we could go over to examples, and we could go over to the basics thing, and we go to blink. If we click blink, it's going to give us some code right here. Go ahead, upload this to your Rio terminal if you have it selected in the board place. And then you should see this little light blinking on your Rio terminal. If that works, you have Arduino software completely done correctly. You can go ahead and start coding if you know how. If you don't, there are tons of YouTube guides on the internet on how to do so. But if you really are a bit scared of the graphic, this type of coding, let's go over and take a look at some graphical coding with blocks. It's much simpler, and let's see what we can do. Alrighty, so you want to do some graphical coding with your Wii U terminal because, well, you're just simpler and you haven't learned the more harder Arduino coding. Well, we can totally do that. So I will be showing you guys how to do that using this software right here called Tinkerkin right here. So how do we go to this website? So I will leave a link to this in the description, but this is what the base website looks like. And what you're going to want to do, you're going to go right here to Wii U terminal since that is our device and this is using TinyML. So we click that right there and bam. So if I click system display, there is a lot of code right here that you can actually do quite a lot with. But first of all, to start out, how is our Wii terminal going to connect to this? Well, you need to connect your Wii terminal to your computer using that little USB cable that came in the package. Or if, you, if you're just watching this, that's how you do it. So next, well, you're going to want to click the upload button. I know I know there's no code right here, but you see it says device assistant is not running. So you actually have to connect, download this software onto your PC so that will be able to connect to your Wii U terminal. So you click that download device assistant right here and it's going to just, I already have it installed. So once that's installed, you're going to click right here, go to CodeCraft Assistant, launch the application right here. And then you can actually check it right here on the bottom. So once that's installed, our Wii U terminal can actually connect to our PC to this website. So if I want upload, you can see it, it finds my serial port right here, COM3, and it will actually upload. I'm literally uploading nothing right now, but you can just see that it actually does work. And that's basically what I wanted to show. So, all right. So let's take try to do some simple code right now and see what we could do. So we could go to system right here. We could pull in the setup loop. I think you need that at the beginning. And then we're going to go over to display and we are going to want to do screen towards. Default, we could go upside down if we wanted to be funny. And then background color. color. What background color do we want? Well, right now it's set to red. We can make it like bluish. And then set we're going to let's make some text color and we'll also get set text size. So set text size to small, big, large. Well, we'll go big text color. What color should it be, guys? Should we just make a white? Sure. All right. And then we're going to want to print something. So we'll do print hello and move to a new line. We can go hello pi users. We could do that right there, and then we could give it a delay for 
a thousand milliseconds. So it's some basic code, but theoretically this should put some uh, letters on our Wii O terminal screen. Well, you want to give it a go? All right, let's click upload. And here's our serial port, click OK. And then we'll go ahead and look over at our Wii O terminal real fast and see, is it working? All right, so here is our Wii O terminal. We just uploaded that code, and you can see my Wii O terminal is straight right now, and our code, our text is upside down. And what does it say? It says "Hello, Pi users," just like we had typed in. So you see, this type of coding is really simple, but it is kind of fun to see what you can do, and it actually adds a new line every time. But it's kind of funny that it is backwards. But hey, that's what you can do with Tinkergen. Alright, so to conclude this video, I just kind of went a basic overview of the specs, kind of showed you guys how to set it up with Arduino if you wanted to do so, and yeah, so I hope you guys found this helpful, and if you want to see anything else running on the Wii O terminal, you can actually let me know in the comments below, and if I can, I will try to do that. But so far, the Wii O terminal is a really fun device. I know I didn't go super deep in, make a really big project with it, but... I'm just showing the base of it guys it's a simple device and i mean it's not simple it's a complex but cheap awesome device and i think it's really worth your money if you're into coding if you're into tinkering you should definitely buy this or check it out but yeah so if there's anything else you want to let me know please let me know in the comments below and if you like this video give it a like and thanks for watching